Yo, YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy Potsy, and today I'm bringing you some WWE 2K15 My Career Series. Now, in the last episode, you see me that I accidentally got my ass kicked by Rusev. It was an accident, alright, man. I wasn't, I was out of it, wasn't thinking. I had too many pizza rolls, hot pockets on my mind, and and I ate them all, and that's why, that's why Ruckus lost. And I was like, you know what? Let him have that match, because the next, you know, next show... It was for the title, and I'm gonna put my mind straight. I'm gonna get, you know, I'm gonna have the egg, you know, the, the the pizza rolls later. But when I get a tweet from Rusev saying you're actually chopping with the drug, I feel like I've never felt like I beat the chat. Shut your bitch ass up. And then the next time, <laughs> Vicky Guerrero saying tonight's the night that I'm the champion. Yada yada yada, defend your title. I'm like, shut up, Vicky. You're not my mom. But anyway, let's get on to the match. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. NXT title is on the line. Me, Ruck is going against Rusev Gush Alaska. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's, um, you know what? I have, in the last video, I haven't really talked about what Rusev is. Kind of just told him about what I'd like, you know, about him and stuff like that. But you know what? Since we got a little bit of time, a little bit of, you know, I'd like to talk about Rusev and why, you know... To, to give what he is about, you know? Listen, man, this man is six foot, man. He's not that a tall dude, but he's he's 305 pounds, but flies like a cruiserweight. This man's really good. He's been trained by uh, Gangrel and Rakishi, um, which is pretty cool, too, And because um, Gangrel and Rakishi are, like, one of the, their best friends, too. So, um... You know, a lot of chemistry in the ring, and, and they're they're really, they're really good competitors in the ring too. Rakishi, Hall, you know, he's a Hall of Famer. You know, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame this year. You know, congrats to him. Um, I, I'm I'm kind of happy because I I grew up watching him. He was hilarious. You know, and and uh, you know, with the whole him turning heel and doing I did it for the rock. You know, that was that was funny as hell. I remember just <laughs> you know the rock going I did it for the rock. I did. I'll show you what you thought. Wearing fatty, like oh my god, he the Rock was the greatest. Him and the Rock had great chemistry in the ring. If you all right, if you have the network, let me tell you something. If you have the network, or you can even go on YouTube, type in um, the Rock vs. Rikishi. I want to say Survivor Series 2001. These guys had a phenomenal match. It's one of my favorites. The top, top one, one of my favorite. Oh god, top ten maybe. If I want to put it like it, it was, it was great. The way that Rikishi moved to the ring against The Rock, he he just flew. It, they guys were just moving around. Those dudes were big ass dudes, and they're flying around. Especially Rikishi's weight, 
It was it was beautiful. You guys, just check that on YouTube. It's not it's not even a, a long ass match that you I think it's like a ten to fifteen minute match. So it's it's really good. But um, you know, Russo is pretty much one of the last guys from Florida Championship Wrestling. Florida Championship Wrestling was like the last pretty much developmental uh, program. But you know, and then there was NXT. Far Championship Wrestling wasn't like you know worldwide as it is today. On it, at, at NXT is. It was local, so it was kind of like you weren't getting a main stage. You weren't really well known down there besides local. So guys like Rusev, guys like Dean Ambrose, guys like uh, Roman, Seth Rollins, uh, Luke, uh, Bray, um, Eric Rowan. Uh, Curtis Axel, those guys, even Ryback, those guys were OV, a little bit of OVW as well. But and then you know, Florida Chamber, they weren't well known. So it was, it was, you know, weird, weird seeing them because if you look on NXT now, you can you see everything, you see everything unfolding, you see guys going, oh, that guy might be going up to the main roster. You look like you know when when you watch NXT's guys are going to be getting called up soon. You didn't really know that till you know there was a promo coming out next week on Raw or SmackDown on them. And you're like, who the hell is this guy? Who, who, who the hell is this guy? With NXT, you get to know the character and get to and um, get to know how, how he is in the ring and what he's like, you know, cutting promos. It, it's cool. Now, it's kind of like the, the fans get to choose who gets to go and, and get pretty much who decides that character works for the guy. You know, it's pretty amazing what, you know, what this guy, especially Rusev. Ah, uh, Rusev, uh, I think... I forget, he debuted in the Rumble 2013, I believe, and I was at my uh, brother's house, and nobody watches NXT beside pretty much me, and I saw Rusev, and I remember seeing, actually, I saw Lana first, I was like, god damn, how, she, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, all right, she didn't, she didn't look at me. Anyway, you know, and I saw this guy, like, this guy, I like this guy, this guy had a different vibe to him, he had the Bulgarian uh, thing first, and then they changed it to uh, to uh, Russian. Doesn't matter. It's just old. It's pretty much the same damn thing. Um, and it, it was good. I liked the dude. He was the fact that he could move around in the ring for his weight. Already, I, that that blows my mind. I already like those those wrestlers anyway because you don't have to worry about him um, doing uh, big powerful moves. Like you didn't have to worry about him. You know, stumbling. You know, getting the big man down like a big show type style. You know, you know he's gonna he's gonna take a bump. And you saw that earlier in his career uh, against Big E. I mean, he took two big ass bumps when he fought Big E. Um, there was a spot when he was on the apron and Big E was in the ring and he did a diving spear, and Rusev just flopped onto the floor. That's from the apron to the floor. That's that. You know, that's not a good. That's a that's a fall, man. And you're not hitting anything besides a thin layer of, you know, rubber. Thin layer of mat, you know, and that hurts. That's not protecting anything. And the, the two times he even hit, you can see the cam- him looking at the camera and go, Ugh! like the air is just gone. It's, there's no air there. And it was hilarious. But, I mean, I like the guy. I mean, this guy, is a, he's good. He's, he's really good. I'm um, just hoping that... um. When WrestleMania comes, you know, comes around, he will retain the United States uh, title because this man has been undefeated. And if he can be undefeated to WrestleMania, phenomenal. That's awesome. I mean, if you want to build like a Goldberg type esque, you know, wrestler who has been just undefeated, you know, going going at it, it's going to be good. I understand uh, having the match with John Cena, and this is the thing I like. I like when he, when John Cena. Is not on the main, you know, main pretty much the main event, which I don't mind. I don't know why people get so pissed off when John Cena is in the main event. There, there's a reason for that because stuff is not ready yet. You know, there, there's a reason. You got that. You know that John Cena is going to be there night in, night out, and he can hold the belt. The man is, is a 15-time, right, 15-time world champion. You know, he's done it. Let's. Who cares? It's because you can't you can't stand the face. You can't stand anything. I don't know, man. I just, I like the guy. I like John Cena. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. And people are oh, you just in a bed. You don't know where I, I will punch in the damn throat. You know, I grew up watching John Cena. So having the fact that he's still wrestling and he's not in the main event, I understand. It's cool. 
But it, it shows that he's he's willing to do anything for the business, and he he's he said that before. You know, as you get a quick near fall there too. Rusev is probably going to be the it factor soon. I mean, not really soon, but like I can really see him becoming a WWE champion. Heels with that type of mentality of being the down disrespectful to America kind of puts you on the edge on being the champion because nobody wants to see you champion. There's a man that is night in and night out, is in America, being booed on, being disrespectful to our country, and, and god damn that German suplex though, and having the opportunity to dis- be disrespectful every night to America and become champion. That's awesome. I always like that stuff. That's like vintage uh, Iron Sheik or a Nikolai Volkov type stuff, you know? And then here comes Hogan. Burr, 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 or Sergeant Slaughter, you know? What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, I had to cut the <laughs> I cut the video here as I get my signature. You know, something must have fell in my cabinet because I went upstairs. Everything was all right. Something must have went outside, but I was ready to RKO somebody. I swear to God, something's about to happen. But everything's good here. But as you see right here, Rusev's about to get hit with the KO. Bam, son, he's out. Cold World Star Hip Hop, the KO. And here's the cover. One, two, hurry up, three. There. <laughs> so there you go. Ruckus retain his title as the NXT champion. And it actually, to tell you the truth, it was actually a pretty good match. A lot of back and forth stuff was happening. I really thought Rusev was going to beat me again and then, you know, <laughs> have the title. I was like, you know what? I'm Ruckus, man. I, I-, I bring the Ruckus, you feel me? So I had to get, I had to get, dig deep. Dig my heart. I had to get the NXT universe behind me with the booze. Oh, I'm a good guy, and yet they still boo me. I don't. The, I gotta fix something because I have no clue what's going on with that. But I mean, it's cool though. Ruckus is your NXT champion, so I had to hit with that Chris Hero KO night night. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I've been changing a lot of the finishers. There's gonna be a couple episodes where I use that, and I'm trying to mix it around. Please forgive me if you think of a finisher that you would like to see Ruckus to have. Let me know. Put in the comments because I'm willing to take anything. I'm, I might just do the KO because I like having the the, uh, the sleeve with it, you know. But if not, I'll use that as my signature and then you know, do something with a you know with a different finisher. But that's gonna be pretty much the end of the video. I have an instant classic type match was good. Thank God, please. That was thank you, Jesus. That was a good match, and uh, you know, I was really I'm, I'm glad I, I still retained the title. As you see, you know, uh, Ricky, you know, congratulate me on defending the title, but once again, I still have to defend it everywhere I go, which is fine. But with, <laughs> nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. I guess pretty much that ghost. I swear, there's a ghost. You know, he's about to get RKO'd. I swear to God. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys, and uh, I'm out. Peace.